Hi everyone. In this video, we will talk about week five summary and we will talk what we want to learn in week five. Week five will start 1st of October until 5th of October. In week five, we have five lessons. The first lesson will be about multiply rational numbers. Here, this lesson, in this lesson, we have two objectives. The first one, multiply with rational numbers. So by the end of this lesson, you have to be able to multiply any number with the rational numbers. Also apply operations with rational numbers to real world context. Also, we will solve a world and real life problems. Here, as you know, we have a rational number and irrational number. We will compare between them and also we will solve problems by using rational numbers. Here we have a new world wall. Rational numbers, word problems, and multiply. Here, if you check the blocks, you will find here a PowerPoint about rational numbers, okay, and about our lesson. Also here, we have a tutorial one, a short video, maybe around four to five minutes, okay, to explain how we can use and a rational number and multiply the rational number with a mixed numbers. Okay, whole, uh, here also, what we have, sorry, here also what we have, we have interactivity one after a tutorial one, okay? In this activity, let me open this, try to solve something about rational, rational numbers. Here we have a word problem, a problems with solutions step by step, okay? This one will show you the problems, solutions, okay? Step by step as you can see now. Also here what we have after, Activity one, we have a tutorial two, also the same video, but here we're trying to explain our lesson, okay, by using a fractions, by using a different way also, okay, after tutorial two, we have interactivity two, also about the multiply rational numbers. Kindly, very important, every day to check these exercises, okay, and also if you finish, you have to evaluate yourself and solve these equations. After rational numbers, we have a divide integers. As we learned before, we learned how we can add integers and we know everything about integers, the definition of integers, the opposite of integers. Okay, here we will learn about divide integers also. This one will be very simple. In divide integers, lesson 1.8, uh, by the end of this lesson, you have to be able to use a relationship between multiplication and division to divide integers. Also, you have to be able to determine which coincidence of integers are equivalent. Are equivalent. Here, we will study divide integers. Also, we will explain multiply integers because we cannot, if you use fractions, if you use anything like this, we cannot explain divide integers without the basics of multiply integers. Here also, the next day, we will learn also something about divide integers. We will add more properties, okay, and we will solve more equations and word problems about integers. Divide integers will take place three days, okay? We will solve everything about divide integers because, as I told you before, we have to explain the basics of multiply integers and then we can enter this lesson. This lesson will be very simple and our goals will be very simple. All resources here active for you and available. Your teacher and PC page available anytime. And kindly, as I told you before, if you need any help, if you need any, any support, don't hesitate to contact me. And I hope this week be very nice and very simple. Thank you so much for everyone and see you soon.